Hello, my name is Douglas Block. I'm an author and depression counselor. Welcome to your depression recovery channel, where each week we talk about practical tools and coping strategies for healing from depression and anxiety. The title of today's topic is what to say to yourself when you're depressed. You know, one of the cardinal symptoms of depression that we talk about is negative thinking. Uh, seeing the glass as half empty instead of half full. And this tendency towards seeing the negative can be really amplified and exaggerated when you are severely depressed. This was certainly true during my hospitalization. I remember telling myself things like, I can't go on like this. I'll never get better. I can't take this anymore, etc., etc. And such what I call negative affirmations only served to increase my hopelessness and despair. Then one day, during a therapy group, my counselor said, Doug, you wrote the book Words That Heal, a collection of positive affirmations. Why don't you see if you can create some affirmations right here to replace your negative self-talk? And I'd like to see the next week when we meet again. And so I took some time, wrote down some affirmations that I thought would help, and now I'm going to read them to you. As I do so, the words will appear on the screen. If any of them speak to you, please feel free to pause the video and write them down, or you can record them on your smartphone. And so this is the list I created. The title reads, to say to myself about the pain. I can get better. I am reaching out for help. This too shall pass. My strength is growing. I am working on my courage. I can bear this. I have enough help. This is changing every day. I will encourage and turn towards my God nature. I need to be more patient. I feel horrible, but I know that's not the whole truth. And my feelings are not a reliable indication of my reality. Each time that I read my list to myself and out loud, I felt better and more encouraged. I hope this was the case for you, and if so, feel free to write the affirmations down for yourself and use them for your own healing. If you want to learn how to create a healing affirmation, I have a video called Seven Steps to Creating a Healing Affirmation. And if you'd like to watch this video, at the end of the credits, there will be an image on the upper right hand corner of the screen, simply click on it and you'll be taken to the video. A final note, in addition to reading your affirmations, you might want to say them out loud. This is because of the power of the spoken word. In many spiritual traditions, words are considered generative, meaning they have the power to create. For example, the book of Genesis begins with God saying, let there be light. Other sentences, such as, in the beginning was the word, indicate that God literally spoke the world into existence. And that's what we do every time we speak. We speak our world into existence. So let's see if we can all become a little bit more affirmative in what we say and think. This has been Douglas Block. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to leave comments, you can do so in the comments section, or you can email me at douglasblock at gmail.com. And if you would like to visit my website, healingfromdepression.com, or subscribe to this channel, simply click on the links in the closing credits. And until we meet again, I wish you the best in your mental health recovery. Thank you.